One of the biggest problems with laying out any stairway, especially the bottom of the stair stringer, will be the adjustments and calculations that you will need to take into consideration. Otherwise, you're going to end up with something like this, where you have a bottom step that isn't the same size as the other steps or risers, the um, vertical height of each individual step. Another thing that will happen every once in a while will be that you won't compensate enough and end up with a stair step that is a little higher than the rest of the stairway. And again, this isn't uncommon amongst professionals or beginner stair builders. I've seen it happen to both of them. I can't stress this point enough. When you're laying out the bottom of your stair stringer, you need to compensate for anything. Your tread width, I mean the tread thickness, the any materials you're going to set the stair stringer on top of, um, anything. If you're off just a little bit, it can show up in the final product, and trust me, it often does. Something else you will need to consider will be any types of materials that you will be placing on the stairway. For example, if you're going to lay a thick bed of concrete um, and set some tile in there, something an inch or two inches thick, and I've seen this before, you'll need to adjust for it. And the same thing holds true for a thin material. You know, if, you're go if your stair stringers are going to be cut so that they are adjusted properly for a finished stair tread, let's say an oak or a maple, some type of a hardwood stair tread, but you haven't compensated for um, linoleum, let's say, something that's going to be uh, some type of a sheet vinyl flooring, something that's going to be, you know, uh, an eight, less than an eighth of an inch thick or even an eighth of an inch thick kind of a thing. You could end up with a problem there. And like I said, it doesn't matter if it's a thin material like sheet vinyl or a thick material like um, like a tile setting in a bed someone where someone needed to float a bed of mortar in there um, and then set the tile on top resulting in an inch to an inch and a half thick um, difference in the stairway. So you've got to take everything into consideration when you're laying out the bottom of the stair stringers. This is important.